Hi everyone, welcome to this week's hump day hack. So in celebration of Easter, I want to show you guys a all natural Easter egg dye DIY. So as you know, a lot of the kits have ingredients that are not so kid friendly. So the dyes that I've made are all from food based ingredients. Basically everything that you see here made these. So I'm going to introduce to you what I did um, in order to make them and let's get started. So the recipe is four cups of water and then two tablespoons of white vinegar and one teaspoon of sea salt. And then all you do is kind of coarsely chop the ingredients, put them into a pot and then let it simmer for 30 minutes and then you drain the ingredients from the water and then you're left with these beautifully colored dyes without any of the chemicals or toxins and your children can get all over them and there's no worries. So let me introduce the ingredients that I use for each color. This one is made out of beets and it gives your eggs a very beautiful kind of pink hue. This one is made out of turmeric, and as you can see, it's very yellow. It gives it this beautiful yellow kind of golden color. And I actually prefer to use fresh turmeric versus the powder, just because I feel like the color is a little bit more lively and bright. And this one was made out of the red cabbage. And as you can see, the color is purplish, but it'll turn your, your eggs this gorgeous blue color. Next we have spinach and for this one I put in just a small amount of turmeric so just kind of like a couple slices of the fresh turmeric in here just to kind of brighten up the color a little bit but this gives your eggs a very subtle green color. And then last we have this one which is coffee. <laughs> And this one is super easy to make actually. So whether you have an espresso machine or a coffee machine, you actually make the coffee separately and then you add in the vinegar and the salt as I explained before. And this will give your eggs a very kind of like subtle brown to darker brown depending on how long you leave it in. So these are the colors that I use and I'm going to do a little demo to show you how you put them in and then I'm going to show you the final results. Now you just take the egg and then you put it in each individual color. And of course you want to place them softly so they don't crack. And then once you have them in the different dyes, you want to leave them in for at least, I recommend, three hours to even overnight. And I think this is really fun if you do in the evening, especially with the kids. And then it's almost like Christmas because you leave them in the refrigerator overnight and then they get to wake up to beautifully colored eggs. The anticipation is just so fun. Another option is to do this in the morning and then in the evening you can take them out and then they're going to be more vibrant. But it's really up to you. They're your eggs. Okay, so these are going to soak, but meanwhile I can show you eggs that I have dyed naturally last night, so I'll be right back. I'm back, and these are the eggs that I left in the refrigerator overnight, soaking in the different dye colors, so let me share them with you. This one is from the Beats, so it has kind of a reddish, pinkish hue to it. Um, I think it's just gorgeous and it's a bit speckled, which is really fun. I'll just put that there. This egg is from the turmeric. So as you can see, like I said, it's very golden yellow. This one's my favorite. It just came out so beautifully. So this is from the red cabbage. And it's actually hard to believe that this color came from this solution, or natural dye, I guess. Um, yeah, so that one is definitely my favorite. Oh, and it even matches the little tablecloth. 
And then this one came from the spinach, so as you can see it's a very natural kind of earthy green color. And last but not least, this is from the coffee. So as I mentioned, I left this in overnight, so it is definitely a darker brown. It actually just looks like a brown egg rather than a white egg, but I still love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, so this is my all-natural egg dyeing hump day hack. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will try this out with your kids or for yourself if you don't have kids. Um, and I wish you a lovely rest of the week. Thank you. Bye.